The world is in enormous crisis. Of course, we all know about a financial economic crisis, but I think there is a shift going on. All our systems, our structural systems like mobility and health and energy and raw materials, they need to be redeveloped, to be reinvented. And that's something that is bringing us, giving us a great challenge. It's what's happening in our cities on this very moment. Within a couple of years, 80% of all the people will live in our cities. And that will bring new uh, opportunities, new great challenges as well. We have to change our systems. We have to change our mobility systems in our cities. And I think smart cities are adaptive and um, well creative and this combination of high high level technology and um, well the new way of thinking is necessary to reshape our cities um, and make them future proof <laughs> when you look to Santander that's a smart city when it's going about environment and traffic and transport or Helsinki that's a smart city when you talk about, well, the interventions of the government, they use a design as a new approach of a way of working, not with laws and regulations, but see what is necessary to organize your society. Well, Eindhoven is a smart city as well. For example, um, I think that our way of collaboration in our triple helix and quadro helix uh, structure with um, the end users and the government, the, the knowledge institute, the entrepreneurs, that was an approach over the last couple of years that had been rewarded quite often. But what you see is that we are doing a field labs, try out new uh, developments in our city of, uh, and ourselves. We got a field lab on mobility, it's block uh, traffic, uh, so you're not driving your own car. Um, we are doing it on, on, on light, on energy, um, and I think on specific areas we are a smart city as well. <laughs> You cannot do it only as a government. So you have to be involved, what we call the, the partners, the stakeholders in our uh, triple helix, the, the government, the entrepreneurs, as well as the knowledge institutes, but that's not enough. We, we need the end users as well. We try to help them, uh, and that's a, a specific approach. What we are doing is we are sitting together. And then we ask as well, eagle partners in, in the same process, what is necessary for the economic development in our region? And then, well, uh, points are brought, uh, brought up, and then, uh, well, we make a program, and then we say, okay, this is our part, this is your part, and this is the third part. So uh, it's, not, it's not a template what we are making, but it's a, 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 a way of working together to help each other in an open mind setting. And that is the most important thing out of it, I presume. <laughs> What we bring here together is the new way of thinking. We do not have all the answers. So we have to help each other to find these answers. A meeting like this, what will be organized in Amsterdam, is of the highest importance. <laughs>